you know what? I think I'm just gonna make this beauty channel or whatever, this fashion channel into a, let me always review coffee and show you my outfits kind of video. Because you know what? This is Christmas time. I'm gonna spend so much money on everybody else and all I have to my name is coffee. I just got, also, can we just talk about how fast Nespresso shipping is? Like we literally put in an order yesterday and it came like this morning. Like I'm not even kidding. The most fastest, quickest shipping I've ever experienced with any sort of brand with anything. Also, I'm not paid for this, obviously. I have 200 subscribers on Instagram, not Instagram, YouTube. No one really cares about what I have to say. You know, self-doubt talking right there, right? Am I right? But I'm going to try the Nespresso Espresso. It is the Li Calf. I think this is a holiday edition. Um, it's a it's eleven, which means hopefully it has enough espresso and enough energy to literally get me through the next forty eight hours and probably on to Christmas Day. I don't know what it is, but once you hit like twenty nine, I think I am. What am I? I feel like the closest we hit, you hit to being an adult, the harder it is to do Christmas. I swear there's so much to do. And while, you know, I just, I need to get through it. So I already poured myself a cup. Also, the one thing about this is that, oh my God, the pod is so cute. I know, cute, what a word. But the pod is so nicely done. That's what I really, I think that's what really got me with Nespresso is the aesthetics of Nespresso. But let's try. I poured myself two. So I really have to have some energy. I feel like I had my first coffee. I Nothing was happening. I need to be on a level where I can just like work. You don't know how this works, do you? It's my She's a strong cup. She's a very strong cup of coffee. But this is going to work. I feel like I'm going to put a little bit of cream in it just to give it, just to tone it down a little bit. To anyone who shops at Target, their Good and Gather stuff is super good. We're super excited to be using these. Of course, here I am mostly doing fashion and beauty, but I'm like, here, here's food. But we're really excited to use these for our, for our cheese board. Also, this everything, everything cracker sounds really, really good. And I feel like I have to cut down the sweetness. I'm obsessed with Starbucks flat, flat white soy, so I always make sure I have the soy vanilla milk. And then just to get some sweetness, just a little bit. Just a dab. Yeah, I feel my heart already going insane. It's gonna be great. I'll take you to get ready with me. I feel like I'm always having good days when I want, having good Sundays when I'm wanting to film. Also, what you've seen in this video is my apartment. It is very small. Also, I think we'll make this a series. I brew a cup of Nespresso, or I also, because I'm insane with coffee, just got a Keurig. Just because I want like, I don't know if there's anyone out there that sound, may, probably sounds crazy, but I want, you know, my strong cup of coffee one day. And then also, I think it's just I'm really homesick. I want Tim Hortons coffee and those only come in, in uh, Keurigs. So I got that too. So maybe I'll do Nespresso Keurig and kind of share what kind of coffee I'm making that morning um, and then go into what I'm wearing for the day. I don't have my shoes on yet. But I figured today I just want something comfortable. I love my cashmere, especially during um, the, the holiday season. It's just so soft and warm. And luckily this one's not too heavy. I am wearing this one backwards. I don't know if you can see, but this is the front. So it kind of has a lower front. But I want it back just to kind of show the back off a little bit. But here's my favorite trick. See, with me, I kind of like things always cropped, but 
not having to cut it. Yes, I cut cashmere. I only cut the cashmere when it's like a couple years old and this one's not old yet. But I have a bra underneath and I just like to kind of roll it under just to kind of show my waist. And it stays pretty much in place. Um, and then sometimes I check to see, yeah, like that's a good, that's a good length for me. Just to kind of, cause then for me, for my body type, it just kind of like gives me my waist back. Um, and then I'm really obsessed with a Goldie jeans. Um, I'm lucky that my work has them. So I'm able to, able to order them through there. Some of them run really big. These ones, honestly, I think I learned my lesson and, and size down with this one, but that is the size of this. I'm just wearing these. These are free people. The one, the one thing I liked about it is that I'm obsessed with the Prada boots, but obviously cannot afford them. So I got these that were a good dupe, not the same. I know it's not the same. The Prada ones, I think they're called monoliths um, and they're like $1,400. And I'm like, I cannot. Also, I don't have any balance. Feeling the winter white though. I feel like I continue to wear white. Oh, I can already feel that coffee kicking in. This has a punch. I'm gonna be off the walls. I should start drinking water now. That's the one thing about my coffee in the morning is that I have my one cup and then I'm like, okay, I want another cup and then another cup. And then before you know it, it would drive my anxiety up the wall. And I'm just like, okay, I need to like spread this out a little bit. I really have three sips of that. And that's crazy. So just, so forewarning, two shots of that kind of espresso is insane. It really is. Woo, very basic, I realized with my outfits. But to finish it up, I'm still really loving this deodorant. You're gonna see me when I do these, use a lot of the same products. I'm really trying, and especially in January, I'm gonna try to be conscious of what I'm spending on. I think it is time to not be so wild with your money, right? That's what January is always for, especially after the holiday. Everyone's Christmas is going. I don't know what it is, but I feel like once you're a mom, and maybe not, maybe like when you're not a mom, maybe it's just when you're older and you, you know more people in your circle and you feel like, not feel, like you want, like you want to give to people who you interact with every day and like see every day and want to give thanks. Like, of course, like you want to be able to, I'm making it real simple that I have to get something on this face, but I just feel like it's a lot once you once you become a mom and it's like you're in daycare and you, you know, you need to basic, you know, you want to buy for the people that care for your kid. I mean, taking care of a, to a toddler, let alone an infant when he was an infant is hard work as we all know, but it's just, it's a lot. And plus they do so good with him too. Like, I swear, like he's really good vocab and but it's just like, what do you even get the daycare people? And then there's like not one, there's like nine of them. And you want to make it all the same, so it's fair, right? But it's just like going through that. And then you have to like package them all up. And again, this is me being annoying. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity and, you know, be able to give. You know, I'm very, very, very fortunate, very blessed. Um, but it's just, you know, stressful. You want to make sure everyone likes everything and you want to make sure that you're being fair to who you're giving your gifts out to. And it's just like a race to the finish. Like if anything, I feel like it's a race to a finish. Plus when you're working, you know, when you're, you're working too and going through that holiday rush, it's just like, we're down to the wire here and I can definitely feel heat is on. It's a good heat though. It really is. I'm a thankful, good heat. You'll see me always be like, okay, here's the negatives and here's the positives. I'm really, I always mostly focus on negatives. I'm trying to slowly rework myself into thinking of the positives. But for me, it's hard. I don't know what it is. I feel like I have been wired to always fall negative. It's easier, right? More pos positive thinking and being grateful and thankful is a little harder. You can always dwell more than be like, I'm content, you know? But I'm trying, I'm working on it. And I think, you know, this morning I had like, I love that the sun's out over there. So I sat on the bed and had like a sun meditation. I wrote my journal. 
that's a good thing about working, you know, sometimes nights is that when my baby's in daycare, I'm able to have a moment to kind of put myself back together, which I'm also very thankful for, very fortunate for to even have the time and the money to be able to do that. But it definitely doesn't feel like a normal Christmas. I mean, we're doing a small thing here with just my husband and my baby and we're away from family, which we understand this is just not the year to get together, but it's emotionally hard, right? Like it's difficult to kind of go through those motions. And I'm using all the products that I normally always use. Again, like the Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer is really perfect for my skin and my needs. And again, I'm just doing like a normal face. Nothing too, too much. But I hope everyone's Christmas shopping rush is going well. I'm like, do I want to put mascara on today? I know today is going to be a nitty gritty day. So I probably should be as minimal as possible. Also, I didn't put any sunscreen on because this has sunscreen. Uh, Sun SPF 40 in it, which is awesome. Using Glossier Bubble Wrap. My lips have been so dry and it's probably because I'm not drinking enough water. I thought of yesterday, I'm like, listen, I wanna make sure to drink a glass before I go to bed just to rehydrate. Cause I feel like coffee in the morning, midday, water. Home, at least a glass of wine or a cocktail. And then it's like bed. So it's like only midday water where I need to Amp it up. Also, the bubble wrap is good for under eyes, too. I love things that are good for both. Here am I, drinking my water. See? I'm like, I can't have any more coffee. I'm going to fly off the walls. But I'm leaving my hair's texture today. The only thing that... I make, I've learned is to brush your hair before it dries because once it's dry like this, you don't want to brush it or you're going to lose all of your texture. Being my Holy Grail Jisoo hair oil. Honestly, I've tried so many hair oils and this one is always the best and that bottle has been lasting me literally forever. But I hope you guys like the, these kind of videos. I definitely like the uh, routine of an espresso and um, an espresso in an outfit. Today you just get an extra dose of me getting ready of makeup, but I definitely love sharing my outfits with you guys. But I hope everybody's Christmas is going well. I hope everyone stays safe as they can. Um, I appreciate all 250 of you. Um, and I just, I hope we get through this and then the final stretch of 2020 in one piece. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be the next day that I have a closing shift and have the morning to do this. All right, guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you soon.